If you guys like how I do my chart analysis on YouTube and you want to learn how to do it yourself, click the link below to check out the VTrades technical analysis course. What's up traders, this is VTrades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for advanced micro devices with the ticker symbol AMD. This was a viewer's request and thank you for your donation. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis, I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. Here we have the daily chart for AMD and it's looking pretty bullish. You can see that we had two legs up. This was a nice impulse working higher. We pulled back, found support from the EMA, made a second impulse, sold off right at the 104 level, pulled back. It looks like we're still continuing higher. Um, after two legs up, we could expect a two-legged correction back down. Uh, so since we made the first leg down, uh, we could see a sell-off in next week if we don't continue higher. And I'd be expecting the pullback to the $91 level. Now that's if we do see a retracement in the market um, next week or this week. So let's put a channel on here. It looks like there is a channel that's been helping prices continue higher. Uh, something like this. I would say price action is mostly holding within this channel right here. So there's still um, some upside potential. Um, I'm going to make this orange. So since we did see a pullback to the EMA and a bounce from it, uh, looks like we could be seeing higher prices. Uh, we could see a possible 110 level or even a gap fill over here at the 120 level. So it looks like a V bottom reversal. You can see we had a large sell off back in early June, uh, kind of like a straight line down. And now we're kind of seeing the V bottom uh, straight line up. So. Uh, usually these can go past the starting point. So if we go past the starting point, uh, we could reach the 110 level. And if we reach the 110 level, I think we could reach the 120 level. So I'll be mean, looking for higher price targets uh, based on the chart. It looks pretty bullish. Uh, overall, there was a massive downtrend in play, uh, which I believe has come to an end. Um, I think some traders might draw their trend line like that. If I drag this down, this does fit against the price action pretty good. And if this is the first break, we should be expecting a retest of these lows at the $71 level. Uh, but time will tell. As right now, it looks like traders might be uh, trading based off of this trend line, uh, meaning we already did have the break and they should not be looking for retest of the lows. So should, they should be looking for longs. Uh, so if I do it like this, uh, we get the bounce rejection here. We get the breakout here and then we get the new low. Um, you can see this low right here at the $71 level is lower than the previous low at the $84 level. So uh, I think traders probably uh, trading this um, pattern instead of a shallower, shallow, uh, shallower pattern. Uh, so I'll leave it like this until the chart tells me otherwise. Uh, if we leave it like this, this looks pretty bullish because the downtrend has played out and we're seeing a reversal. So as right now, I'd be looking for higher prices. If I was trading this, I would not be buying right now or selling, um, if, but I would be waiting for a good long opportunity. So that's how I would be personally trading this. Uh, if I was a long-term investor, then it doesn't really matter exactly where you enter because you're holding for a longer trade anyway. But as right now, looks, I'll be looking for a pullback. Uh, this is not a good opportunity to buy. So we're kind of far away from the EMA and we could see another leg down. If we get some type of setup right here, I'll be looking for uh, continuation to the upside. So that's how I would personally be playing that. Now, if we just break down and find some type of resistance at this uh, um, EMA on the opposite side, then I'll be looking for a short opportunity back down to retest these lows. So that's technically how I would be trading this. Uh, but as right now, it um, looks like we've been seeing higher prices throughout the market, and I think AMD is going to be no exception. So let's go and wrap this up on the weekly chart. And here we have the weekly chart for AMD. Overall, the trend is up. Uh, that's the bigger picture. So I'm going to put a channel connecting the swings. Uh, you can see that this was a nice channel working higher. Uh, before, it was a single, single tier channel, meaning this was the resistance at the top side. And then we had an overshoot. So if I drag it up, uh, we kind of made a wider channel. Uh, so since we had the first break of it, which is all this price action over here, we should be re uh, seeking a retest of these previous highs at the 165 level and that's what it looks like price action is trying to attempt uh, because we did have a downtrend that looks like it's complete we're seeing a nice move up um, if I zoom in on the chart you can see something that we have not done 
uh, pretty much since the whole entire downtrend since November of last year, which is close above the EMA. You can see that these two green bars are above the EMA, uh, which we have not seen pretty much since, again, the downtrend. Uh, so this is very bullish price action. Something is different in the market now. Uh, you can see that we had several green bars in a row. So this, this whole entire uh, move up has been extremely bullish. So it looks like we should be uh, seeking higher prices based off of that. Uh, you can also see that price action was range bound uh, in the past, a market with a orange range. So you can see that there was this range back here in August of 2020, all the way till July of 2021, price action broke out through it, came back, found support at that EMA right over here, and we saw another massive push up. So now this time we had a downtrend come all the way back down to the prior support at that $74 level, $75 level. We, bro we broke it just a little bit. We stopped out all the longs who had their stop losses here waiting for higher price levels. And we trapped in a bunch of shorts thinking we we're going to break down uh, to that $57 level. So a massive reversal looks like a V bottom reversal after a downtrend is complete. So this is a very bullish signs. I'd be expecting higher prices. Um, is it guaranteed to continue higher? No, uh, but that's the beauty of trading, which is uh, you don't really care if the market goes up and down uh, because if it starts going down, then we start looking for shorts. As right now, it looks like the market wants to go higher. If I was trading this, I'd be looking for longs. If you're a long-term investor, um, I would be pretty excited because it does look like uh, we could be resuming the uptrend. And one last thing, let's take a look at the Fibonacci retracement uh, from the lows of this entire up move to the highs. Uh, looks like we just barely missed the 618 retracement. So again, this downtrend was just a correction and looks like we're resuming the trend. So things can change in the market. Um, this volatile, very volatile period, as you guys know. Uh, but as of right now, this chart is looking pretty bullish based on the reasons I outlined because we have not seen this type of price action before um, in this entire downtrend. Uh, so I'm expecting higher price targets. Uh, probably going to be exceeding these previous swings. So I'm looking for the 110, 120. If we get above that high, I'd be pretty excited that we might even retrace all the way up to the um, all time highs at the 165 level. So that's everything I have for AMD. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video with your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.